Hello and welcome to the English virtual class. The topic for today is module 9. It's our world. Reading comprehension, pray while and after reading activities and exercises. Let's begin together. Firstly, celebrations and festivals. Can you name these festivals? The first one, Halloween. The second one, Las Fallas. Third one, Dia de los Muertos, also. Number four, Apelia. Let's see. Now we are going to practice together. Complete the gaps with scare away, honor, set off, parting, dress up, torches, altars, lanterns, patron, costumes. First one or A. The Mexicans, you should complete it, the spirits of their ancestors. Family and friends make you should complete it and put food and flowers on them. Let's see. One, honor. Two, altars. B, the British, you should complete number three, as witches or ghosts. They put candles inside. You should complete number four, made of pumpkins. Two, you should complete number five, evil spirits. Let's see. Three, dress up. Four, lanterns and five scare away see in valencia people celebrate the feast of san jose the you should complete number six saint of carpenters they you should complete number seven fireworks and watch processions let's see six patron seven let off fireworks and the last one, or the people in Shetland, Scotland, dress in Viking, you should complete light. Number nine, you should also complete it and drag a full-size replica Viking long ship along the streets which they burn. Then there is number ten, you should complete it by yourself and dancing. Let's see the missing words here. Number eight, costumes. Number nine, torches. And number ten, parting. Let's find which one of the festivals or celebrations is each paragraph. A. Or Halloween is B. Number two, Dia de los Muertos is A. Also, Las Fallas is C. And Haphelia is D. Now, reading comprehension task. Let's see some words. Stand in the streets, bonfire, parade, shallow wooden barrels, burning tar, also. Eye-catching costumes, fancy dress, ritual, hurl barrels, cheer and applaud. Let's see together now. The tar ball, a special celebration. A. The village of Allendale is nestled in the North Pennines of Northumberland, an area of outstanding natural beauty in the north of England. It is a typical sleepy English village where normally nothing much happens except for a few visitors on country walks turning up at the weekend. But once a year that all changes and Allendale becomes a hive of activity as preparations are made for an unusual festival and the arrival of flocks of visitors. Every year here on the 31st December, the village is packed with people who have come to witness an ancient ritual, the Tar Barrel Fire Festival, known locally as the Tar Ball. B or paragraphs B. The celebration doesn't start officially until a quarter to midnight, but hours before that, people of all ages begin to gather in the streets of Ellendale. Crowds stand in the streets and the main village square in anticipation of the evening's festivities. Let's continue the reading. If the weather is very wintry, then people wrap up in lots of thick warm clothing so as not to get too chilled while waiting for the main events to start. Paragraph C. At around 11 p.m. people begin to swarm around a huge and lit bonfire in the middle of the square. Parents leave their children onto their shoulders to make sure they get a clear view of the entertainment. Then, towards the last hour of the old year, a brass band begins to play. It is now nearly midnight and 45 Ellendale men called Goozers balance shallow wooden barrels filled with burning tar on their heads. Each barrel can wait as much 
much as 35 pounds, nearly 16 kilos, quite a way to carry on your head. The men then begin to parade through the streets of Allendale. They walk two by two with the band playing in the middle of the procession as sparks and flames from the burning barrels light up the dark winter night. Let's continue the reading. The men are dressed in eye-catching costumes. Traditionally, they all used to dress up as court jesters from the Elizabethan era, but in more recent years, the men have performed the ritual in all kinds of fancy dress. You might see a Roman gladiator or, child or children's cartoon character like Scooby-Doo pass you by. The one thing the participants all have in common, however, is that they are from Ellendale families. The right to take part in the festival as goozers is only ever passed down the generations from father to son. Some goozers have performed the task for as many as 50 years. Paragraph D. Once the goozers have completed a circuit of the village, they gather at the bonfire or ball. Just as the clock is about to strike midnight, then they hurl their barrels onto the fire, while everyone shouts, be damned to he who throws last. Let's continue. As the New Year is welcomed in, people may break into singing the traditional New Year song all the long scene, while others are content to simply warm themselves by the flames of the fire, especially if they've been standing in the cold for hours. E. No one knows for sure how the centuries old Tar Barrel Festival began, with no documented evidence to give proof of, of its origins. The only explanation for the spectacle is in local folklore, which has linked the event to the invasion of Vikings from Scandinavia in the 8th century, as well as a pagan belief in fire gods. Now, let's see a task. You should choose the correct answers, of course, about the reading, about the celebration. 1. People go to Ellendale at New Year. 2. A. Walk in the countryside, B. Spend a quiet weekend, C. See a traditional event, D. Help prepare a festival. 2. The fire ritual starts, as, starts at A. 11.45 p.m. 11 p.m. Midnight, about 10 p.m. 3. The brass band A. Lights the tar barrels, B. Parades through the village with the men, C. Plays for over an hour, D. Has 45 musicians in it. You should think about the correct answers. Number four, the men in the parade, they are given a special name for the ceremony. B, must all live inside the village boundaries. C, are all only sons. D, have to wear the same clothes. Five, according to the author, the origins of the festival are A, Scandinavian, B, pagan, C, English, D, unknown. Now let's see the correct ones. For the first one, it's C, C, traditional event. For the second one, the fire ritual starts at 11.45 p.m. For the third one, the correct one is B, parades through the village with the men. For the fourth one, the correct one is A, are given a special name for the ceremony. And for the last one, the correct one is A, so the origins of the festival, according to the author, are Scandinavian. Could you find them? Now, you should answer the questions about the text. What is life usually like in Ellendale? Can you answer? Let's see a suggested answer for you. Life is usually very quiet during the week, but a bit busier at weekends. Number two, how do people in Ellendale welcome the new year? Can you answer? Let's see. They welcome the new year with an ancient tar barrel festival, of course. Number three, the last one, why shouldn't people miss this event? What do you think about it? Why shouldn't they miss it? Let's see. They shouldn't miss it because it's a fascinating and enjoyable celebration. Now a home assignment for you. How do you welcome the new year in your country? of course, in Albania, compare and contrast the celebrations to those people in Allendale have. Thank you very much for your attention.